In this video, we'll go over how to maintain good oral hygiene. We will discuss how individuals can care for their own teeth, as well as techniques for caregivers. We'll provide you with some tips and tricks to make oral hygiene easier. First, let's go over how to properly brush your teeth. When brushing your teeth, you should place the toothbrush half on the tooth and half on the gum at about a 45 degree angle. Press gently and use short strokes, moving the toothbrush back and forth, or you can move the toothbrush in a small circular motion. Start with the upper teeth, brushing outside, inside, and on the chewing surfaces. Next, move on to the lower teeth, brushing outside, inside, and on the chewing surfaces. Be sure to brush each tooth. This should take about two minutes. Once you are all done brushing your teeth, you can move on to your tongue. It is important to clean your tongue because the tongue can hold on to lots of bacteria, which can lead to bad breath. To clean your tongue, position the toothbrush at the back of the tongue and gently brush forward and backward. If you have difficulty holding the toothbrush, there are different methods you can use when brushing your teeth. The first method is called the roll method. With the roll method, you place the side of the toothbrush towards the side of the tooth with the plastic part even with the tooth. Then you turn your wrist so that the bristles follow the contour of the teeth. Another method is a circular method. With this method, you keep the teeth closed, gently place the tip of the toothbrush bristles against the side of the back teeth, and brush your teeth in a circular motion, covering both upper and lower teeth as you move forward. Another trick you could use to make holding a toothbrush easier is to modify the toothbrush handle with a tennis ball or rubber band. When using a tennis ball, poke a small hole in the tennis ball and push your toothbrush handle through the hole. This gives you something much easier to grip. If you or the individual you are caring for is unable to grasp the toothbrush handle, you can use a rubber band. Place a rubber band around the handle of the toothbrush, around the back of the hand, then back on the toothbrush handle. This way, no grasping is required. Once you are all done brushing, rinse your mouth out with water. Now, let's go over how to properly floss. Take a long piece of floss, wrap it around your index finger on each hand, curve the floss into a C-shape around the tooth, Slide it up and down along the sides of the tooth and remove the floss carefully. While flossing, be careful not to injure the gums. If this is too difficult for you, you can try using a floss pick. To use the floss pick, gently place the floss between the contacts of the teeth. Then, in an up and down motion, gently slide the floss against the sides of each tooth. Pull the floss back out through the contact. Repeat for all teeth. The remainder of this video is intended for caretakers of individuals who are unable to provide oral hygiene for themselves and require help. Now we'll discuss more specific techniques for caregivers who are brushing someone else's teeth, including resident and caregiver positioning. Before brushing someone's teeth, make sure that you have all of the supplies needed at hand. Toothbrush, toothpaste, two cups, one with water, and one that is empty for the patient to spit in. Have the resident sit in a chair in front of you. We will now go over different positions to use when cleaning someone else's teeth. Position one, sitting on the floor. Have the person sit on the floor while you sit immediately behind them. Have the person lean his or her head against your knees. Note that if the individual is not cooperative sitting in this position, you can gently place your legs over his or her arms to keep them still. Position two, on a bed or a sofa. Have the person lie on a bed or a sofa with his or her head on your lap. Support the person's head and shoulders with your arm. If the individual is not cooperative lying in this position, a second person can gently hold his or her hands and feet as needed. Position three, lying on the floor. Have the person lie on the floor with his or her head on a pillow. Kneel behind the individual's head using your arm to help hold the person still if necessary. Remember that it is important to always support the person's head. Take care to avoid choking or gagging if the person's head is tilted back. Position four, in a wheelchair. If you have a resident that sits in a wheelchair, you can use two different methods. Method one, stand behind the wheelchair. Use your arm to brace the individual's head against the wheelchair or against your body. Consider using a pillow so that the person is comfortable. Method two, sit behind the wheelchair and remember to lock the wheels of the wheelchair for safety. Tilt the wheelchair back into your lap. Place a paper towel on the resident as a bib. If you have a resident that is unable to open their mouth enough to get the toothbrush in, you can use a mouth prop. To use the mouth prop, place it in the mouth with the ridges facing the cheeks. Then, turn the mouth prop 90 degrees so that the back teeth are resting on the ridges. When using the mouth prop, we recommend working on one side at a time. Complete brushing and flossing on the side opposite the mouth prop. 
Give the patient a rest before moving to the opposite side. The open wide mouth prop can be cleaned in hot water and used for the same resident until signs of wear are visible. You can use a handle from a toothbrush to retract the cheek. Be sure you can visualize what surfaces you are cleaning. If there is excess food, remove with the tissue or gauze prior to brushing. Brush all surfaces of teeth and the surface of the tongue as well. Place the toothbrush half on the tooth and half on the gum at about a 45 degree angle. When brushing the cheek sides of the teeth, have the patient close their teeth to loosen the cheeks for better access. Have the resident rinse with water and spit into the empty cup. If a resident is unable to spit into a cup, use a wet gauze to clean the surfaces of the teeth. Next, when flossing, if using traditional string floss, wrap each side of the floss around your middle fingers. Use your pointer fingers to guide the floss. Floss all touching surfaces of the teeth as well as the back surface of the last teeth in the mouth that are not contacting another tooth. When using a floss pick, be careful not to force the floss down, as you could damage the gums. Instead, use a gentle sawing motion until you get the floss past the contact. Then, gently scrape up and down against each tooth, then pull up to release the floss. Now we will talk about denture care. Denture should be cleaned every day to remove any food or plaque from the denture, and also to remove any denture adhesive. Denture should also be cleaned with a denture toothbrush and rinse under warm water. To best use the denture brush, first remove the denture from the mouth and brush the denture teeth while they are in your hand. The smaller side of the brush can be used for small crevices, while the larger side can be used for other bigger areas. Be sure to inspect all surfaces for debris and remove them using the denture brush. Do not use regular toothbrushes or toothpaste on dentures, as they can scratch and damage the dentures. Once the dentures are out of the resident's mouth, it is also important to inspect the mouth and rinse to remove any food that may be remaining. If the patient cannot rinse, you can use a wet gauze or paper towel to remove any food remaining in the mouth. Additionally, dentures should always come out at night, whether it be a partial or complete denture. It is important for the teeth and tissues in the mouth to rest at night. Soak the dentures overnight in water or a denture soaking solution. Be sure to keep the dentures in a safe place, such as a denture case, to prevent the denture from falling or breaking. Do not use toothpaste when cleaning the denture because the abrasive particles in toothpaste could cause plastic denture teeth to wear away since plastic is much softer than enamel. Also, under no circumstances should dentures be cleaned with bleach, hydrogen peroxide, in the microwave, or in the dishwasher. People with no teeth still need to be seen by a dentist at least once a year to evaluate their oral care perform an oral cancer screening, and to ensure that there is no soreness or pain from wearing the denture. Finally, when reapplying denture adhesive, it is important to read the instructions for the type of adhesive you are using, whether paste or powder. Denture adhesive is placed along the ridge of the denture to ensure that the denture stays in place and doesn't fall out while the patient is talking or eating. Too much could lead to a poor fit and could possibly be detrimental to the resident's health. If the denture still seems loose, consult the resident's dentist for possible adjustments that can be made. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that it has helped empower you to provide oral hygiene care for yourself and your residents in a comfortable and confident manner.